Last week, Singapore voted and we had to say goodbye to Paul Two Hill. The pressure is on. We are only two weeks away from the Grand Finals on September 24th and 25th. Who will be the top two finalists? <laughs> Remember, you are voting for your idols to stay in the competition and send them to the Grand Finals because the one with the lowest number of votes will be eliminated. The power of their destiny lies in your hands. Now, before we move on, let's meet four people who will definitely be there in the Grand Finals. Please give it up for the Singapore Idol judges. Say hello to Digley! Florence! Jacintha! Kenlin! Looking good, judges. All set and ready. And let's see if the idols are ready for that. We're checking on Daniel. All right, and thanks a lot, Gurmit. And I guess they're pretty ready. Singapore, say hello to your idols once again. Give it up for Jonathan Leong. Jasmine Tai. As well as Adi Mirza. All right, now the idols had a really interesting and busy week. What did they do? Let's find out now. The week began with the top three idols at the photo shoot for three magazines. Eight days, Lime and I Weekly. I went here at a photo shoot. I'm not very good at styling myself. The professionals, they always make us look so nice, you know? It's great. I feel like I'm not good. Actually. It's really nice, man. You know, they make me feel like a king. They wear for me my shoes, the suit, you know, hair, makeup and stuff. Yeah, it's so, so exciting. <laughs> Each time that I come for a photo shoot, right, I get to experiment with different characters, different ideas, different backgrounds, different stage that I never imagined that I could do. And boy, did they work on their poses and smiles for the shoot or what? Then over the weekend, the idols made their appearances at two roadshows. First stop, Plaza Singapura, where the top three idols got a rousing welcome from the thousands of diehard idol fans. The idols gave their fans a truly memorable time and ensured that they all went home with something special. Next, it was off to Skate Youth Park, where the top three idols met and greeted more fans who can't seem to get enough of them. Time for a break. When we come back, the idols will perform for you. Stay tuned to Singapore Idol. Welcome back to Singapore Idol. You're with us live. Tonight's theme is my favorite songs. So each of the idols will be performing two of their favorite songs for you. Last week, the idols went back to school and they will be sharing their experiences with us. Now, as the idols perform, take note of their voting numbers, but don't vote until the end of the show because the lines will only open after all three have performed both their songs. For more details on voting terms and conditions, please log on to our website, singaporeidol.com. Let me now ask a stupid question. Are you ready? <laughs> Daniel, let's get it started. All right, and first up, it's Hadi Mirza. And Hadi recently went back to his secondary school, and which is? Uh, Siglap Secondary School. All right, which year did you graduate? 1996, yeah. Okay, let's see what happened when we went back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Siglap Secondary School. When I was in the bus on the way to the school, a lot of the memories that I had back in the school days, they came into my head. I was quite blown away by the reception that they gave to me. I met my vice principal. I feel very touched that they actually came back during their school holidays just to see me. The vice principal brought me on a tour around the school. I haven't sang the school song for like 10 years. When I sang the school song together with the rest of the students, I felt like I was still back in school, you know. I feel very touched that they give me a lot of support. And then I met up with Mrs. Shelly Go, my mentor. She showed me the yearbook. Champions, and you were in that team. 
The highlight of the day is definitely meeting with my school soccer team. I really would like to thank again the whole school. It is something special. I'll be doing Got To Get You Into My Life by Earth, Wind & Fire, my favorite. It's a very upbeat and catchy song, so let's have fun with this one. This song by Earth, Wind & Fire was number one in 1978 in US hip hop and R&B charts. Saying Got To Get You Into My Life, Hadi Mirza. To get you into my life, into my life. I said I gotta get you into my life, into my life. Oh, I said I gotta get you into my life, into my life. Hey. <laughs> Well, um, I guess you deserve all the cheers you're getting because you're in great shape, your voice is in great shape, that was a great opening act, it was just great. Thank you very much, Steve. That was, um, that wasn't a contestant, that was a professional performer on stage. But I want you to focus on something, Hardy. From now to the 24th of September, focus on being spectacularly great, okay? We'll do so. Thank you very much. It was effortless and you have a boyish quality which is coming through, which we ha I haven't seen before. And you are... You're getting younger. You are vocally very reliable. Thanks, John. Hadi, I think... Um... I think you can be more interesting. I think you can be more engaging. I think you can be more inspirational during the finals. Hadi <laughs> Mirza. <laughs> He's a cheeky guy, isn't he? Yeah. I think he can be more, I think he can be more, I think he can be more in the finals. How do you feel, man? I feel good. I really enjoyed myself just now. It looks like it, it looks like it. Okay. Stand here while I tell them your number. It is 1-900-112-1901. Or you can SMS the number 1 to 43657. Thank you. Hadi Mirza, everybody. Daniel, next one, please. All right. And next up, it's Jasmine time. OK, Jasmine, so which school do you come from again? I was from Chongqing High School, Maine. Ah, proud yeah. to be from Chongqing High School, Maine. Yeah. Uh, let's find out right now what happened when she went back to her school. arrived at 
guy here, I was actually quite nervous but when I came down and I started meeting my juniors, I felt really touched, it was really heartwarming and I felt really honoured. I felt that, you know, somehow I sort of like did the school crowd. It makes me realise that I have to be a good role model for my juniors. My form teacher, who has been teaching me since I was sec 2, he has watched me grown. She's very bubbly, pretty intelligent. Uh, I wish her all the best anyway, in her journey. Okay, I'm going to show you the classroom that I study in for two years. Oh man, it feels so weird to be sitting here. <laughs> Whenever the I cannot concentrate, I'll be doing this. <laughs> I will look outside and the teacher will go, Jasmine, it's this place. It's a place that holds the precious memories for me. It's where I started realizing who I am and what I really want and really made friends that I know will be friends for life. It feels great, you know, to come back here and somehow down here I feel as though I'm at home. Tonight, I will be singing Valentine by Jim Brickman. It's an all-time favorite, a beautiful song about love. I really like it and I hope all of you will too. This song by Jim Brickman is from his 1997 album, Picture This. Singing Valentine, just in time. If there were no words, no way to speak, I would still hear you If there were no tears No way to feel inside I still feel for you You know, you are still in this competition because I think you have made the biggest um, improvement of any contestant I've ever seen. You know, from nothing you came to, to be here. Um, sophisticated and confident. And I'm just expecting a lot more from you at this stage. A lot, lot more. I mean, you have to keep giving it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You know, Jasmine, I'm sure I speak up for a lot of guys. Uh, I'm sure they don't mind being your Valentines. Um, that performance was a little bit diabetic. Uh, it was as sweet as you are. Thank you. <laughs> well, you basically took a sweet song and you made it sweeter. 
so that's great. Except that I, I'd, I'd have preferred some more edge. Okay, thank you. Thank you, John. <coughs> um, Jasmine, it was a very sweet rendition. But you know, what was the problem is that the romanticism isn't there. You have to relate to a love song like a love song, not a lullaby. So your chances really depends on your next song, actually. Okay. Thanks, Ken. Just in time, everybody. Hey, just in. So you heard what they've said. You still have another song. That's right. When you come in with the second song, mm -hmm. bring it on. Yes, definitely. No holds barred. Yes. <laughs> All for them. Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay, here's Jasmine's number. It is 1-900-112-1902. Or you can SMS the number 2-43657. Just in time, everybody. Dan, who's next? Well, it's Jonathan Leon next. And John, who came from an all-boys school, what's it like to come from an all-boys school? It's great, you know, you get a lot of time to do sports and hang with the guys, you know, you can chill out. You don't have to bother so much about your appearances because there are no girls in school. <laughs> Let's find out what happened when recently Jonathan went back to school. Only sec one boy who ever walked up to me and said, How's your day been, brother? <laughs> it's really heartwarming to see the whole school come back just to see me. We're like a family of sorts, you know? My teacher in charge of fencing when I was in school. A good fencer. He's a young man living his dream, just like the founder of this school. Here we are at the Performing Arts Centre. This is the first place we had a public performance. This is the stage that I performed at, and I enjoyed it so much when you do something you love, and people applaud you for that. This is my classroom. I used to sit over here, and I used to sit here and think about my life. Thank you so much, my fellow Josephian, for making this such a wonderful homecoming, you know. And I want to make all of you very proud. And I hope I do so with this week's performance. I will be singing In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. This is one of my all-time favourite songs because, you know, every time I hear it, I think about the lyrics and I really can relate to it. So tonight, I hope you enjoy this. The song In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins was featured in the TV hit series Miami Vice. It's recently been covered in the soundtrack of the current movie version of it. Right now, please welcome Jonathan Leon. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. For this moment, for all my life, oh Lord, oh Lord. Well, if you told me you were drowning, I would not lend a hand. I've seen for my friend and I don't know if you know who I am well I was there and I saw what you did I saw it with my own two eyes so you can wipe off that grin I know where you've been it's all been a pack of lies
But I know the reason why you keep your silence up No, you don't fool me But the pain doesn't grow And it hurts till it shows It's no stranger to you and me You know, that was a very intense, a very fantastic interpretation of that song. I did it. And you know something? Um, I think that to be the Singapore Idol, you, you, you don't necessarily have to be a fantastic singer, but you, you might, you need to have some kind of special quality, and I think you've got that. Thank you, Thank you. Jonathan, I loved the way you emoted that song. I declare that a smoldering performance. Thank you, sir. Yes, not diabetic in the least. I've, I've been waiting to say this for a long time. I think you're a singer with gravitas. And, and I have to explain. You're able to put some epic splendor into your, your vocalization, and your, you do that. So it has an epic quality. Thank you, Jane. Thanks. I think um, what Dick was trying to say is that you have the X Factor. It's good. John. <laughs> How are you feeling, man? Feeling great. Feeling yeah? Good, yeah? You ready for this? <laughs> your number, your number. I'm always ready. For You're always ready. Okay, here is this number. It is 1-900-112-1903. Or you can SMS the number 3 to 43657. Jonathan Leung, everybody. Dan, back to you. Thanks a lot, Kermit. And you don't want to go anywhere because the idols will be performing their second song for you next, right here on 5. Hi, welcome back and thanks for joining us on Singapore Idol! <laughs> you know, we've had so many requests for tickets to the Grand Finals, so we, we have come up with four ways in which you can get your hands on them. Ready? Number one, log on to www.singaporeidol.com Number two, get this week's issue of 8 Days and iWeekly. Number three, Tune in to 987 FM and Class 95 FM the next week. And number four, very important number four, come on down to our road shows this weekend. There you got it, okay? Let's carry on with the competition. Dan, let's move on. All right, and up next it's Hadi Mirza with his second song. And Hadi, what's the most memorable moment for you so far in your idol journey? Uh, I think up to date uh, is when I sang and I touched my mom's heart. Yeah, that is very, very memorable, I think. Yeah. I remember she was in tears. Yeah. Yeah, and how proud is your mom of you? Uh, she's very, very proud, and uh, I'm very happy that I made her proud. Yeah. All right, go get him. Here we go, let's go down to his second song. When I was young, the first song that I ever listened to was Desperado by the Eagles. It's one of my favorite songs, and I really enjoy the song a lot. So I hope you will enjoy it too. Desperado was never released as a single, although it became uh, later on the signature song of one of uh, many Eagle signature songs. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hadi Mirza. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? 
I'm not going to talk about your singing because you know, you know I love your voice, right? I'm going to tell you two things. Number one, I would like to see you express the song a little bit more with your physical language, you know, not just singing. Secondly, you're singing everything very, very straight. It's just a straightforward interpretation of the song. You've got to add something more, something different to each song, okay? Okay, I'll note that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with Dick because I thought that this was a hearty I like. I like the fact that you were very sincere and you were very anchored and very confident in your delivery. And I'll be very sure I'll be seeing you at the finals. I hope so too, friends. Thank you very much. I really love it that you got carried away and that that, that is the great thing that has come through in this competition. We've watched you from the auditions, and you really are the one who's made progress, I feel. And you still have feeling for your, for your music, which is, which is great. So I really hope that uh, we're going to see you next <laughs> in two weeks' time. I hope so, too. Also, John, thank you. Party technically was very good. But uh, I think Dick has a point. And do you know what is the solution? Mm, okay. Uh, Fall in love. <laughs> right. I'll try that. Okay. <laughs> How do you murder everybody? <laughs> so in two weeks, you have to fall in love. Yeah. And then come back in the finals and then show all your emotions. You have to help me, Gurmit. Okay, fall in love with... No! <laughs> Fall in love with him, why don't you? Here is his number. It is 1900-112-1901. Or you can SMS the number 1 to 43657. Hadi Mirza. Dan, next please. All right. And here's Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. So what has the single most, you know, largest highlight been in the idol journey so far? 
well, I guess it must be where I am today. You know, I wouldn't be here without the support of my family, my friends and my fans. And they love you, don't they? They do. They give me that support. All right. Now, here's the reason why she chose her second song. Check this out. When I first heard this song, Some Hearts by Kara Underwood, I fell in love with it. It never fails to put me into a good mood and I hope you guys will feel the same too. Some Hearts is the title track of Carrie Underwood's debut album in 2005. Right now, please welcome Jasmine Tai. You know, just now I said about how I felt that you had really improved so much through the whole competition. But I've seen this happen so many times with other contestants where they've become, they're very competitive, they get very good, and then they sort of feel that they're not going to make it and then they just give up. And I think that's what I've just seen tonight. I feel you've lost all your competitiveness and you're just marking time. That was very disappointing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave. Um, for me, Jasmine, the problem was that you were singing the song, but you didn't own the song. You didn't, you know, grab it by, by the horns a uh, little bit more than you should have. But I'll give you credit where credit is due. You are the most improved um, singer on this competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say that I'm not that impressed with someone who takes a big song and makes it bigger. Uh, it didn't move me because um, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel that you had dynamics in the song. And I, I think that because of that, it turned out to be a little two-dimensional. Yeah? Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Jasmine, it's just one of your off days. Um, but at least the country moves it works today. I think most importantly, you should be proud of yourself. You tried your best. And uh, I think, like what Flo said, you're probably one of the, the very few contestants that have shown improvement and tremendous improvement. Thanks, Ken. Just me and everybody. Tell us what's going through your mind. Well, um, 
I felt that like, I really like gave my best. I really enjoyed my song. Yeah. Of, yeah. When I was on stage, really comfortable. Yeah. So you didn't give up, did you? No, I didn't. Okay. Mm, I felt I didn't. Maybe from the outside. It looked, it looked like, like it. Yeah. Okay. As long as you didn't give up on the inside, mm -hmm. don't give up on her. This don't is her number. Yeah. It is one nine hundred one one two one nine zero. Two. Oh. Or you can SMS the number two oh. to four three six five seven. Just be in time, everybody. Thank you. Then, all right, and I am now with Jonathan Leon. John, what is the most memorable moment for you so far in a, your idol journey? Well, the most memorable moment for me has been every single week that I get the chance to come up and perform and uh, do all the different genres and the different weeks and the different stylings. I, I love it. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more. You're living the dream, aren't you? I'm living my dream. So what song is he going to sing? Let's find out. Tonight, I'm going to be singing Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic by The Police, whose lead singer Sting is one of my favourite artists. I like this song very much because there's a very catchy chorus and a very unique melody. So I hope you enjoy it too. This song was a number one hit for the police and the UK singles charts in 1981. Singing every little thing she does is magic. Please welcome Jonathan Leong. No, I've tried before to tell her of the feelings I have for her in my heart. Every time that I come near her I just lose my nerve as I've done from the start Every little thing she does is magic Every little thing just turns me on Even though my love before was tragic Now I know my love for her goes on I tried to tell the story of a thousand rainy days since we first met. It's a big enough umbrella, but it's always me that ends up getting wet. Every little thing she does is magic. Everything she do just turns me on. Before was tragic Now I know my love for her goes on And on and on I resolve to call her up A thousand times a day And ask her if she'll marry me In some old-fashioned way Though my silence fears the grip me Long before I reach the phone Long before my tongue has tripped me must I always be alone? Every little thing she does is magic Everything she do just turns me on Even though my love before was tragic Now I know my love for her goes on Every little thing she does is magic Everything she do just turns me on Even though my life before was tragic Now I know my love for her goes on In the course of this competition, you have found a voice. You've found a kind of a way to sing in a very cool way. You've become the cool guy of the show. So I think what you like now is, um, you know, in your fast numbers, is just not exciting enough. Yes, it's still cool. It's fast but cool. So it doesn't really go. I think if you make it to the finals, and I'm sure you will. Um, Thanks, dude. You know, you better, you better, you better work on that that part. Work on the fast songs. Yeah, energy. How did you know? <laughs> I guess. Okay. 
Um, I was going to say that for some reason I felt you were a little bit distracted and you went off a little bit on that song. But you know what? Who cares? Every little thing you do is magic. Thanks, Joe. I'm not sure how you do this, but um, you, you were able to bring a new quality to your, to your interpretation. And this evening, I heard, or I saw some irony in, your, in, in the way you delivered your song, in this song. And uh, that's great. So there's some, there's, you have, you're a poet. <laughs> Thanks, John. There's a great audience here. Thank you. Anyway, um, you know, Jonathan, when, when, we, when we try and produce an artist, it's not about the power, the range, or anything else, but the ability to personalize yourself. I think from Unforgettable to Snow Petrol to what you did tonight, you managed to actually do that and do it very well. And I think, thank you. Jonathan Leon. Feels good? Feels good. All right. So fast numbers must be more exciting. Got it? Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Get his number down. It is 1-900-112-1903. Or you can SMS the number 3 to 43657. I didn't forget the number. <laughs> okay. We are going for a break. When we come back, we'll have a recap of the performances plus a very important announcement. Stay on Idol. There are two songs, so here it is, a quick recap of the performances and the numbers. The show where I say the lines are open. I repeat, the lines are officially open. They will stay open until tomorrow night. Remember, you must vote for your idols to bring them to the grand finals. Now, if you haven't voted before, now is the time. There are only three idols left. Which two do you want in the grand finals? Ooh. Remember, you are voting for your Singapore idol. Every vote counts. You can make the difference. All right. Now, for the voting numbers, you can log on to singaporeidol.com. Folks, everybody, let's give it up for the Singapore Idol judges, please. Give it up for Dick Lee, Lawrence Lin, Jacinta, 
as well as Ken Lim. Thank you very much, judges. Thank you for spending so much time with us. And also a big thank you for the people in the house. <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs, moshies. People at home, thank you for watching us on Singapore Idol. Now catch us tomorrow on Singapore Idol Extra at 8 p.m., then the results show at 8.30 p.m. live right here on 5. From all of us right here, <sighs> this has been Singapore Idol. Good night, everybody! Good night, everybody! <laughs>